coming in and meeting everybody in person, that's so much different than just doing it over Zoom or online. Um, you get to actually shake hands, look them in the eye, hear their, their stories, their backgrounds, um, and then you start, that's when you really start building the real connections. Um, so it's night and day from being online to being in person. So that's probably my biggest takeaway is just in the in-person interactions. Yeah, so I used to be one of those guys that was on the fence too. Um, and I just kind of looked at it as like an investment. So, I mean, you, your greatest investment is in yourself, right? So if you're one of those that's on the fence, it's it can be scary, but the return that you're gonna get from this investment is, uh, I mean, infinite really. Um, but like I'm working on my first acquisition right now, that'll easily pay for any fees up you know, paid to get in here. So if you're on the fence, um, I can't say anything else besides pull the trigger and level up. The quality of people are, they, I mean, I've, I've been, I've known several of them for several weeks or several months, but um, the the new ones that you that you meet that over the last three or four days, they really do become, you know, kind of like family. I mean, you get, like I said, you get to learn their stories and their, their backgrounds um, and everybody's so open and willing to help too. That's the thing. It's like, nobody's, nobody's trying to take your money here or trying to scam you in any way. They're just trying to, to help you get to where you're trying to go. Um, and so that's uh, been invaluable to me. Kyle and Michael are great. Um, I, so I kind of make the analogy of, if you've heard of the Rich Dad, Poor Dad book, um, I kind of, I say that they're my rich dads and then I have my poor dad, but, so I go to them for like the financial advice, the life advice. So um, Kyle actually hopped on a call with me the other day to kind of walk me through some, some pretty deep, you know, uh, life changing decisions, I guess you say, which we got ironed out. And, and so uh, it's nothing but rocket fuel from here. Capital raising is probably one of those that I haven't put a whole lot of thought into. So I've been kind of in the acquisition space for the last couple of years, so I know, um, you know, the process of start to finish from there. But when it gets to actually getting the 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 deal across the line, you need to know where to get the money to do that if you don't have your own. You know, so um, one of the newer things I brought here is um, how to raise that capital, and that's going to be one of the key like uh, puzzle pieces that was available here. I'm one of those people that says, I don't have time, Is that's not an excuse. Um, people make time for what's important to them. Um, and I'm also one of those people that's not gonna beg you to come level up your life. Like, it's either something that you want to do or it's something that you don't. Um, I will tell you that it's been one of the greatest experiences in my life. So I've learned more than I ever did in college or in high school, all of them combined with a grad uh, degree as well. But. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I just tell them, you know, this is what I'm doing. You're welcome to come along for the ride. Please come if you want, but, um, you know, they got to make that decision for themselves. Business acquisitions is not for everybody. Um, there are risks involved, um, but you're not going to, what, you're not going to make, you know, your generational wealth through your W-2 job. Just, you know, going Monday through Friday, nine to five um, for your, you know, 70, 80, 90, whatever salary you have, it's, it's going to take, you know, you can do that for 20, 25 years and retire, or you can learn the art of business acquisitions and start making that kind of money way sooner and buy your time back.